Hey, thanks for watching this free tutorial. Uh, this is about aesthetics and it's generally just a, like an introduction to what I think are some really good basic foundations of uh, displaying data in a pleasing, easy to read way. Um, lots more in the paid portion of Better Sheets. Um, and I'll also answer questions uh, as long as you have them. Even if you have questions right now, Email me, andrew at campyapproved.com. I'll put my email address right here so you can see it. Andrew at campyapproved.com. Uh, email me any questions you have if you are buying uh, Better Sheets, buying a membership or not. Um, go ahead, email me. So what we're doing today is we are going to take this data, which is a pretty basic sort of five people had some point system. Maybe it was fantasy football. Maybe it was like a sales thing in an office. Um, but we have the results and we have the winner here. Um, this is a formula that I uh, go much deeper into in the um, um, in the paid version of Better Sheets. I have some cool tutorials showing you Index Match is an awesome version of like VLOOKUP, if you know that. I will go, however, into how to do ranking. Um, and generally, we're going to turn this into this. So a much easier to see, read uh, way to see, OK, Gary's a winner. Here's the ranks, one through five. Um, and we're going to change this into this. Uh, so cool. So. This will hopefully show you a few really cool to, um, tools and uh, features of Google Sheets you may not have known, all of them, or may not have seen this particular use case. But it's also going to share with you my particular style where I like to go through projects and I like to show you how to do something by doing it and showing sharing with you like really unique use cases of all of these tools all put together. So the very first thing, actually, first thing we're going to do is duplicate this. So we have a version of it. Um, we're going to actually move some of these around because really you might not have like had these all in order. Um, they might be out of order. So what the first thing we're going to do, we see that the winners over here on the right and people normally when they read, they read from the top left uh, to the bottom right. So left to right and top bottom to down to the bottom. And here we have the winner, Gary, over here. So we also have taken some assumptions. We're done with this. We're not going to be changing this anytime soon. We just need to display this information. Um, so what we can do is we can get rid of this um, this nice header bar that makes it really easy to scroll up and down. We have five people. We're done with that. But it makes it really nice and easy to move around. Um, we're going to move all of this. We're going to do Command X and cut and move it over here a couple rows. We're going to move winner Gary to the center. Um, actually, we're going to move winner Gary down here. We're also going to move everything down one more. We're just going to create a little bit of a separation between the winner here and the every all the results. We're going to make some space around the table. Um, that just adds adding more white space lets the eye breathe a little. We have this is a very common Thing with Google Sheets, we put everything up and to the left. But when we just want to display this in a nice way, we can give the separation, give the eyes some room to breathe. Uh, we want to center the headers. So we just click over here, center. And a really fun keyword, uh, keyboard um, uh, hack is that you can do Command Y on the keyboard and redo what you just did. So I want on a, whatever the last thing I did, I centered, do it again. I'm do winner Gary. I'm going to center it again. I'm going to command Y plus that. Um, and now this is more aesthetically pleasing than this, right? We're on our way. Um, what I want to do is I want to also create a bigger font size because right now everything is the same font size. So winner and Gary, we're going to just put up the double. Ooh, nice. But winner, wow, really looks big. So we're going to put that down to 15. And one thing is uh, we want to hide the grid line. So we just go view, uncheck grid lines. And now we have a lot of white space, really nice. Now we're, now we're able to breathe a little. Um, what I want to do now is I want to show you how to do alternating colors. And this is a really, really fun thing. So I just click on the table that I want to do alternating colors on, including the, the, this header row. So I just click and drag over all of that. And I go over here to the 
fill color. I click on that. And, oh, right behind. Hello. <laughs> right behind my face. I'll move myself over. Is alternating colors down here on the very bottom of this uh, fill color. So I'm going to click it. Let me move myself back over here. Um, and I can select any of these preset default styles. They're really just one color. I do like to just go with that rarely at the beginning. Let's go with a nice yellow maybe, or let's go with this blue. But one thing that I do not like about these preset ones is this header is so much different than the, the results. And the header doesn't give you any information. Like it, especially if we were like familiar with what the header is and we just need to see it once and then we'll now see it. What, what it is. We don't need to continue to see it. We, the eye is drawn right now. The, the most color is right here in the header. So what I do is I like to uh, change the header color. And I just like to take it down a couple notches. Um, see, it's still different, but it's all within the same color. Uh, less contrast is, is nicer to the eye. Um, the la next thing I'll do is I'm going to gray the data. So this again is we 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 want to help the eye in a number of different ways. So actually I'm going to click done over here. We want to help the eye get to what it's most needed right away. Right, we want another winner. We also want to see this information, but we don't care about it as much as the winner. Right. So I'm going to just select everything and I'm going to take the color down, down just three notches. Okay, two notches. <laughs> and see, the, it's still readable. I can still read it, but it's just a little kinder to the eye. And now, winner just pops out. You can also take this down a little bit. You can sort of take everything down, even the winner. You can take him down. He still pops. He's still there. He's still the winner. Now, if you notice, we want to rank, we want everything in order, right? We, we have the rank, but we want them in order. We want to see like, oh, Gary is at the top. One thing you can do, if if we had kept this data at the top, and one reason why you do keep the data at the top is so you can do this sort row. So if everything, let's just move, you know, these out of order a little bit. Let's just move it out of order. And if you did this, click here. And, and this might be easy to do but it might be a little bit harder here. So what you can do if you are not familiar yet is click on the row or the, sorry, the column that you want to order by, click and drag the entire thing over here and now go up to data. And now you have this sort sheet here, but you also have sort range and you can sort range A to Z. So small to high, high to low. Oh, we want to do small to high because it's the rank. And we can rank that. If I had done this way, now data says sort range by column B. So it's always the column that we start with. So if that was the case, this is how it would A to Z, Arnold through Tracy. But we really want the rank. So we click and drag from the rank column. We don't include anything that we don't want to switch around. So we, if for this one, we're not including the header. Now we go to data, rank A to Z. And here's why I like alternating colors because we could have done this manually. I mean, it was only five people, so it was really coloring like three things. Obviously, with, when you have like a list of 20 or 30 or 40, you want to do that. But also, did you notice that I did not have to redo the alternating uh, colors? I think alternating color is one of like the coolest things that Google Sheets has put in here as, an, as a, a real feature. Um, because it's just automatic. It just works, right? I don't have to redo it. I can still mess around with this and I don't have to do anything. It's really cool. Um, one more thing that I personally have found really frustrating about Google Sheets is when I look at this, I am only seeing five rows of data. I don't need a thousand rows and I don't need 26 uh, columns, right? If I scroll up, down really quick right now, oops, if I scroll down really quick, I'm, I don't know where I am. So to prevent that, I just delete every single other row, except the two on the sides. And let's just give a little space in the bottom. Yeah, that's it. And now every column is the same size, but we don't care about these two columns. We just want them for white space. 
So we're gonna I'm gonna click on A and then I'm gonna hold down command on the I'm on a map and click E and I'm gonna make them a little smaller. So now all of the focus is on this table. There's not excessive white space, there's not excessive rows or columns. Um, and we have a pretty darn close to Gary, uh, the, or this winner one that we were looking for. We can maybe make the uh, the text a little bit larger to make it easier to read. What I like to do also is keep the headers down low. I mean, we can still read them, but now we see that data really nicely, right? Now we see, okay, Gary's a winner. Oh, here he is. And reading down from the top to the bottom, very easy to read. A lot better than this data, right? A lot better aesthetics to see this clearly. This is the information I want, the points, the rank, the winner. And here's a cool thing too. This index match, if you uh, join uh, today, I go into uh, index match a lot. I love this. It's like a V-ray, a V lookup. It's just so much better. It works automatically. So I don't have to copy and paste this anymore if, if we did this wrong. Oh, Tracy was supposed to have 323. Um, and Gary was supposed to have 231, right? See, that automatically changes. The ranks automatically change. Oh, let me share with you what the rank is. So rank is cool function if you're not familiar with it. Um, actually, I'll retype it here. Rank, it, this value, and we want this, the second argument is the, uh, the range. And then the column is we want it ascending. Actually, we want it descending, so we want a zero. We want it most points is the best. Uh, and we see there. And what's going to happen, I'm going to share with you something really to avoid. If I click and drag down, everything looks good, except it doesn't. <laughs> you think, oh. So what happens is I need to go up here and in between C and the 6, of the, this is the row. I need to hold this row sort of hostage, right? And I put a little dollar sign there. Like, that's what I think. I'm, I'm holding it for ransom. Like, you're not going to get this away from me. Uh, and so I hold that and now I click and drag and now we get the actual ranks. So that's something to uh, watch out for when you're doing rank and you're doing the, this uh, range. Uh, you have to use this dollar sign which really holds that number and it doesn't change. You want that ranking for everyone. Uh, so click and drag this delete, and notice also to avoid if I add data it automatically shows these alternating uh, colors but if I delete that data it doesn't, and even if I do command and ha um, backslash, it doesn't fix it. So what I have to do, and, and this is a little hard or challenge to know, but I go back to alternating colors, let's move, and I have to change the range up here to D, B to D, and that fixes it. So that fixes that. and. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you learned a lot about Google Sheets and how you can make your Google Sheets way better. Uh, please consider uh, signing up and subscribing uh, to the paid version. And we'll go a lot deeper into formulas. We'll go a lot deeper into even more aesthetics that I think are really fun and uh, make our, our data pop and uh, share um, information in really good ways like data viz. We can do some really cool charts. Um, but yeah, keep, keep, keep learning. I have a few other free videos. Please feel free to watch them and learn something about Google Sheets and how to make your Google Sheets better. Thanks. Bye.